went off again. Yep. Got another one. It's a decent one. Mouse trap to a board. Unreal. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Okay, I'm gonna go up to a lake up here not far, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a mouse trap, and we're gonna make a set line out of this mouse trap and catch a fish with it. I've had this idea for a couple of years. I know it'll work. A lot of my set lines, they've, they've been very successful, as you saw on the 30-day challenge. I know it's been so windy. It could have just been the wind. I don't know if it's snagged or what is going on here. There, see, my set line. Okay, ah, fish on my set line. That makes me happy. The uh, second trap I'm gonna do is more complex. The idea will be to set the hook, pull the fish out of the water, down a ramp, and flip it into a frying pan. So you gotta wait for that one. That one might take a little bit of trial and error, but I think this one will be pretty simple. Just gonna cut a flat board and attach the trap to it. Drill a hole through, set my trap. The days are short right now, so I got about three hours. But the fishing should be good towards evening, so I'm pretty hopeful we'll get one with this mouse trap. Okay, I like that better. It's wiggling. There. So now I got my hole already there. Line will go through here. And drill a little hole through it and then screw it onto my board. I think with this type of wood, it would uh, split if I don't drill a hole. Don't worry about the traffic noise. I'm just making the set up here in town, but we will be out in the bush eventually. Okay, that should work. Need a little bit of paracord to set the trigger off. So the one line is gonna go to here. See? The other line goes to the trigger. They both go to where the line's gonna go. So basically it'll sit like that. We'll screw it on our board. The fish tugs, sets it. And get out on the lake, cause actually we don't have a lot of daylight left. It's like after three o'clock, it gets dark pretty early. Okay, got my trap on there. Line through the hole. Should work. Give her a go. Well, I got stuck back there, but I got out. I plan on spending the night here, get a fire going, have something to eat, and go ice fishing tomorrow. Never as much snow under the tree, but I don't want to be too close to the tree, even though it's winter and we got two feet of snow on the ground. It can catch the roots. This should be fine. Where'd my cattail go? Did I drop it? Oh yeah, there's one. See, it's interesting with cattail. Comes right apart like this in the winter. Shouldn't take much to get a fire. Always have your materials ready ahead of time. Things are a bit damp, I think. Well, the cattail seems too damp. I put some old man's beard, some grass. That cattail didn't want to burn. I can tell you that. 
spend the night out here. Just gotta collect some wood, it's almost dark out. Starting to cool down. It's not always easy sometimes, you know. Patience is a virtue. Oh, my steak is ready. Looks good. Smoke's always in my eyes, it seems. Oof. As soon as I turn the camera on, the smoke comes at you. I'm gonna have my steak, go to bed. I'm actually staying in my truck. I'm up here, I'm quite a long ways from town. This is the first video of mine you're watching. Make sure you tune in to the uh, 30 Day Survival Challenge. Uh, Canadian Rockies that Zach Fowler and myself did back in July. That was epic. Very great series. So I'll make another video where I spend a night or two out here in the bush, make a, a shelter. This video is about just catching these fish and showing you these traps I wanna make. I'm gonna have my steak, get up and finish that trap. So I'm gonna try to find some worms around this creek here. Uh, sometimes even in the winter you can find worms near a running creek like this. But it's interesting, this creek's got uh, watercress growing in it. So you can see the watercress in here. Interesting to see, uh, we don't get a lot of watercress up in this area. One of Zach's shovels. Never even thought about that, but when I got stuck the other day I had this in my truck all along and uh, just pushing myself back and forth till I got out, which worked, but I forgot having the shovel with me. There's one. Let's see if I can get a couple more though. Well, one's better than none. That's cold. Should have brought a scooper. Not very deep here. I have to shorten my line, it's pretty shallow. my worm is on good. Seems all right. Still going. Okay, that's bottom. Want to pull it up. Oh, there. I can't wait to see this trap go off. I can tell you that. It's real exciting. Because I know it's gonna work. And then it's just a matter of patience, basically. 
Now we just got to keep rolling the film video until it goes off. It's that simple. Fishing takes patience though too. But this trap is going to work and I know it. Is this ice? Must be through almost. Oh, boy. You gotta be kidding. Whew. We're down almost two feet. What the sun came out. So I have to take my snow pants off. Didn't think it would be this deep. I never seem to bring gloves. Hopefully he doesn't bite while I'm setting the trap. Oop, almost caught my finger there. Come on back, fish. He should come back, I think. He set the trap, but we didn't get him that time. Okay, the trap just went off. I think we got one. <clears throat> we got one with our trap. There we go. Nice. It worked. Right on. Went off again. Is that gonna be three for three? We gotta see. Yep, got another one. That trap is dynamite, man. It never misses them. I haven't lost one yet. It's a decent one. Nice. Three for three on the mouse trap. Ha. <laughs> Look at that. I'm telling you, this thing is dynamite. It sets the hook so fast that they don't have time to spit the hook out, nothing, because it's instant. I, I am absolutely amazed with this trap. Most trap to a board. Unreal. Right on. Okay, thanks for watching Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed that and keep your eye out for future videos.